interesting since last time? What's been happening for you since our last uh, lesson together? Uh, I thought for me that uh, I, I'm still on holiday. So, oh, yes, uh, you're still so on holiday. The, the best, That's the right. best thing is to have another lesson in, in uh, English because uh, yes. uh, more than one lesson is better. Because next uh, uh, next week I'm going to start again uh, working. Yes. Uh, I will work for two weeks full. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after these two weeks, we are having again a short time. Uh, yes. You didn't say we are having again uh, short time, but you would uh, say as I said last we time I will see are having uh, together a short time. So we talk about having a short time because you need oh. the article in front of the noun. So instead of having short time, you say we are having a short time like that. You see, we are yeah. having a short time. Yes. Okay. Mm hmm. And so uh, I'm going to work three days a week. Yes, for, for uh -huh. one month. Wow. Uh, yes, um, and this will last until the end of until the end of August. End of August. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. and then in September they will decide if we are going to have the, the same. Uh, 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 amount of percentage, also the, the same percentage of uh, yes. short tower, or mm -hmm. uh, they are going to change something. Ah, right. So, so they're going to see. see. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I pray, of course, that uh, everything will go ever so well by grace, of course. Uh, always, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, whatever it will be. Yes, we whatever are, it will be. We are mm -hmm. in the hand of God. If, yes. we, if we don't trust in God, nothing will uh, will be happy in uh, in our life. Yes, of course, that's right. That's what's most important. When we trust in the Lord, uh, we have uh, nothing uh, to worry about. So that's really uh, what's most important. Mm -hmm. Trusting yes. in the Lord all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, by grace, um, everything will go well. Yeah, yes, that's wonderful. Okay, so today is um, the uh, informal uh, tutoring, and uh, do you have any uh, subject or topic that you would uh, like to talk about in particular, Johnny? Maybe we can uh, take another text uh, from uh, your uh, your fantastic yes. site there. Yes, and then we by can discuss grace. about uh, mm -hmm. that if we have yeah about the James Clear best type articles. Yes, the one hundred uh, best yes. articles uh, from uh, James uh, Clear. And uh, do you have a preference as to which article you would like to read? Had we finished no, the article that we started last, last time? Last time, yes, we have finished it. We finished yep. it. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we can start a brand new article this time, uh, Johnny. Which uh, article would you like to choose? There is nothing in religion here, I can see. You, you don't say no thing, although it's written no thing. You say na. Ah, remember the O is often nothing, pronounced like the nothing. F. There nothing. is a word. That's that, right. Nothing. Nothing. There is a word that I can you Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So always the O pronounced like a U, or at least quite often. So it's na, ah, ah thing. So you, yes, let's see if there's uh, something about the, the faith, about uh, religion. Yes. That would be can interesting. We have, and uh, we have so can we uh, f uh, search? Is there a search tool here in oh, this? Oh, of course. Um, I see what you mean. Uh, well, I'm not sure if in this particular um, document we're going to find anything about faith and religion because, well, I don't think this is um, the favorite um, topic or subject of this writer because I haven't seen anything about uh, spiritual things, 
I'm still looking just in case there is something a little bit more uh, spiritual. Um, now, there is uh, one title, which is How to Master the Invisible Hand that Shapes Our Lives. But if he's talking about us mastering that invisible hand, he can't be talking about God because, um, well, it's not us who master God, who masters, who, we, we do not master God, but it's God who is our master. So mm -hmm. he masters us. So I don't think yes. he's referring to God. I think he's referring to just fate and destiny mm -hmm. and um, things like mm -hmm. that. So I don't think that's talking about God as such. Yes. So I think it'll be difficult to find something here which is mm -hmm. uh, spiritual, but um, what we can do is uh, see what are the best articles about faith. That would be interesting. So if I look at um, faith and the articles about it, so, maybe. for example, yes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have so found something. It's, ah, if you found something, not, that's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, but it's not about say. Yeah, it's not about faith. It's ah. about yeah. The title is this Zen concept will help you stop being a slave to old beliefs. <laughs> but, oh, that's a funny one. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> yes. So this is about Zen. Maybe it's Zen Buddhism. Maybe it's yes, meditation. Yes, Zen Buddhism. Yes, meditation. Yoga. All those kind of things. Yes, yoga. Oh, yeah. mm. Which actually isn't really Christian. I don't know if you know what the Christian point of view is concerning yoga, uh, Johnny. Mm, so my, so my opinion. Only my opinion, you, huh? Well, yes. Tell me, what is your opinion concerning yoga? Do you have an opinion concerning yoga? Yes, yes. Uh, so my opinion in yoga is uh, yoga is for sport, just sport to just to to uh, just to practice yoga uh, for mm -hmm. sport and mm -hmm. nothing else. I think well, it's not bad for the body. Well, I absolutely but agree only, with only you. For this, yes. Because yoga, yoga yes. is a very big word, and yoga you can go on oh, yes. with meditation. You mm. can go with the, with all the beliefs it's in it. Oh, yeah. And this is not. Uh, it's my opinion. Oh, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. It's. But not, I agree with uh, you. I agree with you. Yes. Yeah, I would not uh, learn these uh, mm -hmm. all these concepts that is behind yoga. Because mm -hmm. it's uh, it's uh, so if it's, it's again concepts, what I believe. if it's concepts, it's plural because you're talking about all these concepts. So you can't say uh, which is behind yoga. You would have to say are. which are. That's right, behind uh, yoga. There we are. Yes, absolutely. You're quite right. And especially, I don't know if you know that in yoga, they often suggest that you should just empty your mind and think of yes. nothing. Yes. But when you empty your mind and think of nothing, mm -hmm. guess what comes into your mind? Because you are, in a sense, taking away all the protection, uh, all the barriers from evil influences, evil sources. So if you're asked to just empty yourself of everything and think of nothing, mm -hmm. well, it's a bit like um, taking away all your security and then uh, the enemy, mm -hmm. it's easy for the enemy because there's Absolutely. no barriers. There's no, yes. no defense, no security. So the enemy can just put, start putting thoughts into our mind that's according to the enemy's will and then we start uh, receiving thoughts from the enemy instead of receiving the mind of Christ and the thoughts of Christ. Yes, yes absolutely S agree. So it's very and dangerous, actually. Yes, and the other aspect is also... Other, for me, it's, other. It's, Remember, the, the, the other, sounds like the, the you. Other, other. The yes. other abs aspect is yes. mm -hmm. that, uh, that you will become selfishness because... Be because... Because, when yeah. you say selfishness, you mean selfish, because selfish 
is the adjective. Uh, you will and become selfish, yes. That's right, because yeah. its selfishness Absolutely. is uh, um, uh, the, the, the noun, you see. That's mm -hmm. the difference between those two words. So selfishness mm -hmm. is the noun. There we are. And then selfish oh, is the you. adjective, yes. like a Absolutely. selfish person. Yeah. That's right, or so something that's selfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with you. It can be... And very selfish. Yes, you are saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, selfish. And uh, you don't. You will only. You will only um, go on in your life with your with your own uh, mind and, and body. You will mm -hmm. never. You, you uh, the the main aspect is not to yes. search others or to help others. others. Remember. But, Search ah, others, ah, yes, yes, others. yes. That's right. The but it's okay. It'll but come it's with okay. practice, not to yeah. worry. You know, the the sooner or later, you'll, yes, you'll, yes. it'll become Maybe automatic. Change. It'll change, Correct yes. me every time, it's not a problem. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I yeah. won't hesitate. <laughs> it's okay. I think You're after welcome. 100 times, it will change. I'm, I'm sure about that. Oh, I'm, I'm really quite sure. sure. Yeah. Because repetition is the mother yes. of education. You've heard of yes. that, haven't you? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it will help others. Yes. Uh, it will not help others because you are only concentrate for in uh, yourself. That's and, right. Uh, and what Christianity mm -hmm. said uh, is uh, is uh, uh, the, the, the you will be great with others. Uh, to, That's to right. Be, you you have to grow with others. Exactly. If you don't, if you don't have mm -hmm. other people. Yes. Uh, you can grow. You can grow. That's right. Absolutely. You can see there, you, there you can see if you are on mm -hmm. the path in God or not. On the path. On the path in yes. uh, with God or not. The path. There we are. That's because right. Because I, if you... Yes? You know, go ahead. No, no. Go, go ahead, on. Go, uh, on. go ahead. I was only going to say that, you know, it's a bit like being introverted and... Uh, uh, self-centered, as you say, selfish, egocentric, egotistical, egoistic, because it's self-improvement yoga. Mm -hmm. Instead of praying for others during that time, oh, praying you're for just others, yeah. trying... Yes, uh, if you're a Christian, you could spend uh, the time that you, you, you otherwise would spend uh, doing yoga. Instead of trying to improve yourself, you mm -hmm. could pray for others, which is intercession. God will improve other people, which is much more profitable yes. because you could pray for millions of people yes. and millions of people would be improved. The whole world, you see. Yes. Whereas if you're only thinking about yourself with yoga and only trying to improve yourself from the outside in, which is much more difficult than if you have Jesus inside, two, which means Jesus inside also, two as in T-double-O, like, yeah. uh, you know, my Skype um, pseudo. And then, uh, when you have Jesus inside, then he's actually changing you from the inside out. And mm -hmm. that's the only way that you can really change, is from the inside out, when Jesus mm -hmm. is inside. But from the outside in, well, that's very difficult, if not it's impossible. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you can, you're quite right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, and you can yes, see also okay. with this interaction with other people, if you have other, improved, other, uh, other people. If you are, ah, with all the other, <laughs> if, if other people. You'll you have to write it in big letters. Yeah, absolutely. Just, ju just in front of your computer or just yeah. on top of your computer. Yeah. Uh, so that um, as you're speaking, you see the word other. Uh, yeah. And each time you want to say the word other or yeah. another. Um, or there is, no, there is a lot of. Um, There's others, lots of words like that. some, yes, uh, yeah, there is a lot of the where it can, uh, um, where it can. Um, yes, some that's right, and yeah. ma, money, yeah, ma, money, uh, must, money, yes, must, must, well, must is yeah. spelled the, with the must U. time, most, yes, time. but must, must time. Oh, most, no, most is different most. because it's in front of ah. the S, and the OS is okay. OS, so most is different. But uh, money as well, money. M U. Uh, I mean, it's pronounced M U, but it's written M O for money. So if you write all of that in front of the computer, yes. 
then that'll remind you. Yeah, yeah yes, absolutely. I have some students who do that. Yeah, they write of course. things. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I need have, it. You need, yes. I have but, some Spanish students who have difficulty pronouncing the S sound ah, because, in Spanish. Uh, yes, it is different in Spanish. That's it's right. Different. And you know, in Spanish, they always say ES. So instead of saying Spanish, they say Espanish. You see, oh. they always put a E in front. So it's always Espanish instead of Spanish because it's Espanol instead of Spanol. Oh, okay. And so that is one of the mistakes. And also they always forget to put the S at the ends of words. Just like in French, we don't pronounce the S's at the ends of words. Oh. In Spanish... It seems like they don't pronounce the S's at the end of words, like I suppose in all Latin languages, maybe in Italian and Portuguese, yes. it's the same thing. You see. Like word, words, like this? Words, that's right. Because you need to pronounce the S at the end when it's plural in English. Yes. And so he wrote a big S, like, you know, filling the whole sheet mm -hmm. of paper mm -hmm. and put it like in front of his computer or just above, you know. And so... Uh, each time I correct him, he says, I know, I know. And he shows yes. me the paper saying, yeah. look, I've written it. And I said, yeah, yes, yes, it's good. Uh, Absolutely. And now you, you must put it into practice. You've written yes. this. But now I, you, you have you must to have, put it into practice. Yes. That's right. You must apply it now. Yeah. Like <laughs> me, of course. That's right. Of yeah. course. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree with that. No, not I agree with that. I agree. I, I, I can I say, agree. I I'm agree a... with that. Or if you want to say, I'm, instead of I'm, agree, you say, I'm in agreement with that. Can you see the difference? So it's either I, I agree or I'm that, in agreement. I'm in agreement with that. Okay. That's right. But you can, cannot say I'm agree. Mm -hmm. you can you say. Mm -hmm. can you see, Walter, that uh, everything you write now in uh, oh, it's in it's, Skype, it's working well now. It works yes, it's working well. Perfect. Now. It's strange. Absolutely. Why, perfect. Why is that? I know it's wonderful now. Like uh, it's always been with all my other students. Absolutely. So how come we, we had difficulty with this um, a few weeks or maybe well, months ago? Was I can't I remember. The only one. Yes. I never had that with any other student. Okay. Uh, I can't remember it being with any other very student. Strange, very strange, I know because I, it works perfectly now. Huh? It works perfectly now. So it was something wrong. But normally, you know, with, with computers and with internet and with yes. websites, either it works completely mm -hmm. or it doesn't work at all. But something that half works, because mm -hmm. you still receive the messages... But you receive them after the lesson, sometimes yeah. at the end of the day or the beginning of the next day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I know that sometimes mm -hmm. uh, my messages are slightly delayed when I send them to my students. I mean, yes. maybe a few seconds, yes, maximum mm -hmm. one or two minutes because um, the Internet connection isn't very okay. good. Okay. And so everything is much slower. Mm -hmm. But never more than one or two minutes. Mm -hmm. Like for us, it was several hours later. Yes, yes. and it, maybe there, are, there were times that uh, it never came. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. No, no, but and it's okay. It's better to work with it than uh, without. Much better. That's yeah. right. It's much better when it's immediate. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, I thought what might have been the reason, mm -hmm. uh, because as you're living in Switzerland, you know what is the characteristic of the Swiss. What are the Swiss well known for, apart from Swiss chocolate, oh, I uh, think... wa wa watches and Swiss bank accounts? What else are they? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, every, everybody here, about everybody, is when, uh, it, uh, when one person... Uh, thinks uh, about Swiss Switzerland. It, yes. He thinks uh, first a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work, of yes. money, a lot, a lot of, of banks, money, yes. a lot of banks, all accounts. these things, all these things. And, this is a, and, think, the, yeah. and yeah. the Swiss chocolate. We mustn't forget the Swiss and chocolate. The Swiss chocolate. Lindt, yes. Doppler, oh, uh, Schuchard, 
Nestlé. These are all Swiss uh, but I companies. Think Lind, Lind is the first. Uh, can and the top you, one. Can put it on the first place. Yes, Lind, yes, and, Lind uh, is the top one. Yes. And then it's uh, Nestlé. I mean, it's Suchard or it's Tobler. Which one is the second one? I would say. Yes, it's Tobler. It's, it's not so easy. Tobler, Tobler yes. But Tobler is, is second. Is it, and Suchard is this third. one. You mean this one? Tobler. Toblerone. What? Toblerone, yes, the ones that this, make the triangle. This one. That's right. Tobler would, is actually the maker of Toblerone. Yes, I would Toblerone. Say this one. Yeah. But it's made by Tobler because the company's name is Tobler. Yeah. yeah and they yeah. make Toblerone. Yeah. It's like Tobler 1, not Tobler yeah. 2, but Tobler 1. Tobler 1, yes. Because if you it's have, their top if product. You, if you have yep. a friend here in Switzerland, then yes. you can tell him to bring you chocolate from Migro. Migro is, ah, a, is Migro, a... les trois M, les deux M and uh, M. Yeah, les sorry. trois M. Migros? So there's Migro, M-I-G-R-S, that's right. And, and there's a, a small one, medium one, and big one. So the yes, small one is right. one M, Absolutely. the medium one is two M's, and uh, the the big one is a three M's. Yes. Oh, the but, French chocolate, oh, yes. I, the, I've heard This of chocolate that. is absolutely fascinating nice. because you can have... A yes. lot of different fried chocolates in Migro, and you you can choose from uh, from mm -hmm. uh, maybe for two uh, from uh, two to two to two meter meters two meters. Wow! In both directions, chocolate. left, in right, and directions. up and down. Wow! Yes. I think I think they're specialists in mint chocolate. You know the you mint can, chocolate. You can have mint chocolate. Yes. Dark mint chocolate. You can have dark, dark mint, mint chocolate. chocolate. Yes, I think but I remember this is that. Not, this is not uh, the speciality is not for uh, Frey, but this is a uh, 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 this is a uh, after uh, British after eight. You are after eight. That's right. After eight, after eight after mints. Yes, yes, that is the uh, speciality for. Uh, mint chocolates, yes. but do you know what is the speciality for chocolate, uh, orange chocolates? The speciality of, uh, can you write me? Yeah? It's the speciality for orange chocolates. Orange chocolates. Have you ever heard, because you see, each brand uh, has their own speciality. So for after eight, it's the mints, and for Terry's, it's the orange flavor chocolate. It's called the Terry's chocolate orange, and it looks like an orange. It's round, okay. like a ball. Okay. It has uh, an orange wrapping around it, mm -hmm. which has a little uh, draw, um, li little spots, a bit like an orange. Mm -hmm. And if you open it, if you open the wrapper, this ball is actually divided into slices. You know, ah. like the orange segments. I it's very never, original. I have oh, never seen it. it. It is so You're, nice. So yeah, okay. If you ever have the opportunity, if you have yes. friends in the mm -hmm. UK, yes. just like you asking me if I have friends in mm -hmm. Switzerland, they yes. can send me a Frey chocolate from Migros. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have friends in the UK, you chocolate. can ask them to send you a Terry's chocolate orange. And I tell you, I think it's one of my favorite oh, chocolate okay. tastes. It's dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. But it has orange uh, essence, orange, orange oh, inside, oil. Yeah. You know, like the yes, inside. Yes. It, it's it's perfumed. Mm -hmm. The 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 flavor is an orange flavor, um, yes. and it's like uh, the flavor of um, uh, fleur d'orange. You know, fleur oui. d'orange. Oui. Yes, and it's a, a wonderful orange taste to it, and it's just so amazing. I tell you, when you start eating one of these chocolate oranges, and they are quite big. Yes, you yes, have yes. You have difficulty stopping uh, okay. before the end. You, you want to eat the whole thing. You know? oh, okay, like uh, every time. Oh, it's amazing. I and mean, can I you buy it? Can you buy yes. it in a, in a normal magazine? In any shop. Uh, in any shop? Any shop in the UK. Oh, All okay. the shops sell it, like Mars bars, Bounties, Milky Ways, Oh, uh, like marathons, oh, things like that. Topics, I will Snickers. See. I will um, see maybe how it looks twi like. Twi Twixes, um, and all these other, you know, uh, types of chocolates you can buy in just about any shop, even in a newsagent, even in a like papeterie uh, or librairie. Um, 
in a news agent, you know, where they sell sweets yes, as well yes. as the newspapers or tobacconist. Um, wow. They they sell them everywhere, absolutely everywhere, where you can find Mars bars, Milky yes. Ways, um, Bounties, uh, Snickers, um, yes, yes, Twix, yes. and all the others. You can also find the Terry's chocolate orange. It's yeah, everywhere. I see, I see yes. that it's, uh, that it's so oh, general. You, you see it on I, the internet. You see it on yes. the internet. There, there, is a, there is an orange of chocolate uh, right. sliced. So it's sliced it with slices, pieces. like segments, just wow. like an orange. It's identical. They've copied exactly. And the oh. taste, it's so amazing. You, you don't even want to bite it to make it last longer. You just let it melt in your mouth. Yes. Because it's so rich. But it's and a shame I can't find it here in Switzerland. It's oh, I'm so sorry shame. to hear that. You know, my my heart goes out to you. I feel sorry. I can oh, I, I can good. sense your your disappointment. I mean, I I yes. sympathize. You know, I <laughs> I, I share uh, your very good. disappointment. It is amazing. I will see. Now, I will see if there is something in Switzerland. Just to. You can become addicted to it very easily, you see. I've never been addicted to uh, after eight mints. You know, I like one oh, or two after yes, eight of mints. Course. But when I start eating the after eight mints, um, I don't have difficulty stopping before finishing the box, you see. Yes. Uh, I never feel that I want to finish the box. I just have one or two, and that's fine. But a Terry's chocolate orange, once you start... It's very difficult to stop. Yeah. It's almost a challenge, like, to you know, stop, huh? to chop. Can you stop? That is a challenge before yes. you finish the orange. Yes, yes. <laughs> and it's a challenge. It's and not it's easy. It's a big one. Huh? Yeah. And it's quite big. You know, this is not a tangerine, a mandarine, a clementine, or a satsuma. Have you heard of these words before? No, satsuma no. not. No. Satsuma never. is the same as a tangerine, a mandarin and a, a clementine. Mandarin, yes. yes. Clementine and mandarin of K. And tangerine? Yeah. Have you heard of tangerine? tangerine? No. no. Have you ever heard of uh, tangerine uh, dream? No. Have you ever heard of the chariots of fire? The no. chariot no. de, de, de feu. The film. The famous Christian film. The chariots of fire. You've never was... heard of that? Oh, Maybe. you must watch that film. It's a Christian film. It is so famous. It's won so many Oscars. And, and I actually met one of the people who was actually in that film, the one who the started um, The Chariots of Fire. It is an amazing film. Okay, and, it's about oh, what? I was confusing. I was confusing the music. No, they uh, have the music from Vangelis. Have you heard of the group called Vangelis? Vangelis, or Vangelis? Yes, 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 yes. They are the ones who produce the music for Chariots of Fire. Oh. And the, the music goes like boom, 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 boom. And and then running, you know. And uh, it's just such an amazing film, and it shows what it's like in the British um, university, like Cambridge mm -hmm. University, and the running. And this is actually historical. It's a true story, actually. Oh. And it's very powerful. It's won lots of Oscars. So, you know, it is very highly rated. Even the film critics love it. Love it. And I was confusing it with the other pop group who have produced music for a famous film, Tangerine Dream, but I can't remember the film. I thought it was um, The Chariots of Fire, but in fact, it was Vangelis who did the music yep. for Chariots of Fire, okay. which actually had a lot of success in the charts because of the success of the film. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chariots of Fire music is actually just a musical. You know, it mm -hmm. wasn't even singing. It was just the the, the music itself, and it's rare that a musical, uh, just a piece of music without any singing, is top of the charts, is number one in the top 20 charts or the top 50 oh, charts. Okay. That's yep. very rare. But because the film was so successful, the music of the film by Vangelis, or Vangelis, mm -hmm. I think it's Vangelis, it um, was like top, like... Um, Number number one of the charts, uh, oh, okay. especially in the UK. Now it's just interesting. I've just thought about this because this is a Christian film, mm -hmm. and so I never thought about this before. But 
Vangelis mm -hmm. can be considered like a Christian name. Um, a week or Evangelo would be it's the, like the, the, the good name. Yes. It's Evangelo. like evangelize. Evangelize, yes. Yes. So it's mm -hmm. just um, if you put an E in front, it's like evangelize. Yes. So, so I never thought about that before. I thought it was just a name, you know, like any other name. No, no. I think it comes from that. But Evangelo. I'm sure because yeah. if it's a Christian film, yes. And when I look at the way it's written. And you only have to put an E in front, you know, like we talk about male and email. So you have Vangelis and you have Evangelis, which is yes, like yes, evangelize, except there's not the E at the end of the verb to evangelize, but it's almost the same. Uh, what, what's, oh, what's, what's, uh, e. They've taken the E off the front and the yes. E off the end of the verb to evangelize. Yes. That's right. It's just without the first T and the last T. Yes. Yes. Can you see the symmetry? You see? It's very yes, symmetrical. Course. If you add an E on both ends, mm -hmm. it's the verb to realize. Yeah. Wow, I've just what, realized what's... that. <laughs> Revelation. Yes. yes. <laughs> and what's the... Yes, of course. Can be like mm -hmm. that. Yes. And what's it in... Uh, ah, in uh, Not in the frame... Uh, uh, in, in French, uh, it's the chef. No, no, not, not in French. In, uh, in Latin. Vangelo in Val Latin. I think it maybe it's Vangelis. Maybe it's the maybe. Latin words. Maybe it's Vangelis. Maybe that's, that's, that's it. That. Maybe it's the Latin word. Well, that's interesting. Oh, very, very yeah. good, Johnny. I'm impressed. Very good idea. Very intelligent. I didn't think of the Latin. Maybe. Brilliant. Well, of course, you you, you speak Italian, so obviously you're familiar with. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe. Italian is like modern uh, Latin. It's like there's Greek and ancient Greek. Well, there's um, then, uh, Latin. Latin is Evangelium. Ah, oh, Evangelium. Amor is Evangelium, yes. Evangelium. Evangelium, yes. yeah. I think they just like, like customize the name. Maybe, yes. So that it wouldn't look too much like something, you know, spiritual. And so they've um, disguised the name just by taking off the first and the last letter. Mm -hmm. uh, so that those who are uh, not interested in Christianity wouldn't be discouraged. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes. Because sometimes, Maybe. you know... You, you, you can be right, like, yes. Yes, I think it's a, a strategy mm -hmm. in order to have, um, uh, to be more widespread and to be more well-known and not to discourage people who have preconceived ideas yes. about Christianity, you see. Uh, the religious part rather than the relational part. We understand that uh, uh, true Christianity is relational because God is relational yes. and true Christianity is not religious because religion never saved anybody. You can't mm -hmm. be saved by man-made religion. You can only be saved by the Savior and God is therefore not religious. Mm -hmm. God is relational. Yep. And so that may be the reason why they slightly changed their name, but I'm mm, just, you, you know, can looking be at right. it. You can I, be right. Also, I, Angel, it sounds also a little bit like angel, and a lot of people believe oh, in angel. Oh, angel, yes. Angel, but not it's in, like uh, but the in, angel, yes. Yes, many, many people have... Like victory have, angel or victorious. Yes, absolutely. Uh, my, many yes. people, there, there were a period of time here... That a mm -hmm. lot of people believe in there angel. There was a period of time. You didn't say uh, there was a period of time. Uh, there, there, there was, was a, period a period of time. That's right, of that time. Many yes. People believe in angel, but never, mm -hmm. I think, never put the connection completely mm -hmm. with God. Believe right. in angel, but That's the connection it. to God was too far away. They believe, mm -hmm. And I think also because of that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Also, I think also you're because. Right. You are right also with uh, what you said, maybe, mm. uh, Angel. Yes, just mm -hmm. to make it a little bit more mm -hmm. widespread, to put... Yeah, yes, make that's it. right. And that's probably why they were number Absolutely. one in the okay. music charts. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the best-selling uh, music a long mm -hmm. time ago, yes. Yeah. And uh, that's why, even though there wasn't any words... There, there wasn't any lyrics, there wasn't any singing, so it wasn't a song, it was just the music, yes. but the music was just so popular because people loved the film, 
And so they love the music. Amazing, isn't no, it? No, we see oh, if I find the film. Yeah. Oh, it's worth seeing. You, you should see that film, really. I encourage you. And uh, I've actually met one of the actors in that film. Oh, okay. Yes. I met him in the United States. Okay. In the US. Wow. In the USA. Yes. And yeah. Wow. It was on a, one of these, um, uh, you know, summer camps. The Americans, they have summer oh, camps. Yes. Yes. And I was a specialist counselor for motorized go-karting and cross-country uh, motorbikes, scramble bikes, you see. Ah, okay. And uh, yes, and so it was in New York State, uh, in the Catskills, which is the place where the New Yorkers like to go on holiday. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice um, countryside area. So we had a lake and uh, behind the lake uh, was a forest and behind the forest with the mountains and that's the Catskills in New oh. York State about a hundred um, miles north west of New York City yes okay. and so I did a summer camp there when I was 19 with BUNAC British University's North America camp mm -hmm. or North America club and uh, they have exchanges with the American students so as many American students as come to the UK then uh, UK university students can also have a J1 uh, visa, which oh, okay. enables them to do any job they want at all. And even as a joke, they said, well, if people vote for you with a J1 visa, you could even be president, president of the United States, oh, as long okay. as you have sufficient yes. people who vote for you. So of they course, say literally of any yes, job at course. all with the J1 visa, mm -hmm. even president, if they vote yeah. for you. <laughs> but yes. I didn't have enough votes, so that's why I didn't okay. become president. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next time. You next can try it, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> yes. So it's really interesting. Um, and that, uh, you know, what you said about people sometimes believing more in angels than in God, yeah. it's not only in Switzerland. There's another small country which is very rich, okay. uh, which is like Switzerland. Do you know Hello. which one it is? Maybe in Los Europe? Angeles? Ah, in Europe? Oh, no. Europe. In Europe? Very rich, very small. Z Zurich? No, Zurich, it's big. Z no, Zurich is the capital. I mean, uh, one, no, it's one, no, no, it's one of the main cities. No, Geneva's it, capital. No, no, it's it's only... one of the main cities, hmm? Zurich. But I mean in Europe, outside Switzerland, but another country, not Zurich, hmm? but another country in Europe, which is very small and very rich and which has lots of name places which are something angel, something angel. Okay. So they, they have Ange, because it's French speaking, that gives you a hint to help you, that gives you a clue as to which country it is. It's French speaking, so it's Ange at the end of it, which means angel. And so they have lots of places like Betelange um, and uh, something Ange and Lots of w name places or towns and cities with Ange at the end of it. Melange? No, but <laughs> Melange. A bit, like, a bit like Michelange, you know. Saint-Michel is not, uh, not Saint-Michel, but this, this is, a, this is a a place. Isle, Isle. An, an island, yes. No. Island. Okay, uh, I'll give you one last clue, because if yes, I give you any maybe. clues, you'll, you'll guess what it is. It's part of the Benelux. It's one of the three Benelux oh. countries. Oh, oh, Benela. Oh, I don't very know. Very small and very rich. Which uh -huh. country is that? Benelux. Benelux. Liechtenstein. No, Liechtenstein isn't part of the Benelux. Benelux is just oh, those yeah. three countries. You know which are the three countries that are part of the Benelux? Countries? Uh, no. No? Well, BE stands for Belgium. Ben Belgium then. NE stands for the Netherlands. And the last syllable, Lux, stands for. Internet. <laughs> Lux for Luxembourg. Uh -huh. Ah, not Liechtenstein, Luxembourg. Yes, I have. Ch ah, okay. Now look at all the names. If you look yes. at the list of towns in Luxembourg, mm -hmm. you have Differdange, Dudelange, mm -hmm. you have Rumelange. Uh, so can you see uh, how you have a lot of uh, towns, mm -hmm. cities, and villages ending with Ange at the end of them. Mm -hmm. 
And yes, it's the yes, most yes. common ending because if you look at all the other endings, yeah. if you take the 12 communes, okay, mm -hmm. you have Luxembourg City. Mm -hmm. Well, Luxembourg, it's like um, New York, New York. It's yes. Luxembourg City in Luxembourg country. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Luxembourg, that's Erg. Dierkirch, it's Irsch. Mm -hmm. um, Eternach, it's Ak. Eschradzet, it's Et. Mm -hmm. Etelbruck, it's Uck. Uh, Grevenmacher, it's Acker. Remik, um, it's Mick or Mish. Vianden, it's Den. And Wiltz, it's Iltz. So each of the other um, mm -hmm. 12 main towns or communes have a different ending, mm -hmm. but Differdange, Dudelange, that's two. Uh, Rumelange, that's three. That's one quarter of them, okay, mm -hmm. have the same Ange ending. And I know there's other smaller places like um, just villages, like Betelange, mm -hmm. uh, which also have this Ange ending. So they are actually representing all the different angels, which are the angels of those towns. Now, talking okay. spiritually, mm -hmm. what angels are we talking about? They think they are guardian angels. Yeah, the, but the main three guardian angels, maybe. Well, yes, but you see, they tend to focus more on the angels than on God. Do you know that in yes. Luxembourg, it's one of the countries where it's the most difficult to evangelize, where there are maybe the least Christians or believers, and oh. where is the, the most Freemasonry? Yeah. Masonry. Ah, yes. Freemasonry. Yes. Ah, yes. La, la Masonry. Masonry. yes. Okay. When I was in Luxembourg, I went on a prayer walk with uh, the other Christian family I was working for because we were doing a project together, a Christian project of having a Christian hotel restaurant to evangelize. And we went on a, a prayer walk around the city center and uh, the, the palace mm -hmm. or the castle in the city center and, and we went through the the narrow streets of the old city and we saw so, so many mm -hmm. symbols of freemasonry oh okay. if you know on the, the street on the symbol. on your way on your way on the street it it was uh decorated paving stones wow. on the cobble ah, okay. streets they had they had like the uh a big stone where they had a kind of picture mm -hmm. uh, on the stone and these okay. are uh, stones dating back hundreds of years in the past you see mm -hmm. so some of these are maybe five six hundred maybe seven hundred years old very very old and on the tops of doors just above the door of the entrance of the houses mm -hmm. they also had the um, symbolism of Freemasonry, the the okay. the, the Masonic symbols. Yeah. Uh, if you know what those are, and uh, as I know what it, what what it is, but uh, the whole story, I don't know the whole story about that. It. It's a mm -hmm. sect. It is a kind of sect, yeah. but it's actually they are not actually um, because you see, in, in this group. Let's call them a group because mm -hmm. it's a very closed sect. Yes, yes. You know? It's by invitation only. Yeah. And it's only the elite that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. They're interested with those who have a lot of money, a lot yeah. of power. It's a bit like the Illuminati. Yes. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, w the, the person they worship and adore and praise, they call this person mm -hmm. the... Grand architect, architect of the universe. Now, who do you think is the grand architect of the universe? Yeah, of course, God. No, God's not an architect. He's a creator. Yeah, they, he creates for, for masonry. For masonry, right. is God. 
Oh, they, yeah. So, now, the first three orders of Freemasonry, mm -hmm. which is Apprentice Mason, um, Companion Mason, that's the second level, and the third level is Master Mason. Oh. Now, for those oh. first three levels of Masonry, they own, they think, like you, you said, that the grand or great architect of um, the universe is God. That's mm -hmm. what they think, you see. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But we know as Christians that God is not an architect. He is a creator. Of course. There is the difference. There is a difference because mm -hmm. what does the architect do? He's not actually creating substance. Mm -hmm. He's just arranging things that have already been created. Mm -hmm. He's using materials and objects and things mm -hmm. which already exist and arranging them in a certain way. And what kind of uh, God belief uh, the, these uh, persons in uh, masonry? So they're actually believing that, uh, well, it's only when they arrive at the very top levels, mm -hmm. like uh, the 21st level, 22nd, 23rd level, which mm -hmm. are often honorary levels. Mm -hmm. So, ce sont des, des niveaux honorifiques. So, it's mm -hmm. honorary levels. Okay. And uh, these top levels, like 21, 22, 23, it's only at those very top levels. So there's very few people who arrive mm -hmm. at that level. Yes. That is when it is revealed to them that the one that they, they were worshipping, praising and adoring as the great or grand architect mm -hmm. of the universe yes. is no less than Lucifer himself. Ah, uh, yes. So they are, uh, yes, they are not Satanists. Because the Satanists know who it is mm -hmm. they are worshipping and adoring. They know they're worshipping Satan because they are told that straight from the start. And so a Satanist knows who he is worshipping. Mm -hmm. But a Luciferian, mm -hmm. uh, a Luciferian, a Luciferian who is worshipping Lucifer, mm -hmm. he is actually not told directly or precisely the one who is worshipping by uh, being led into error and thinking that this grand architect of the universe mm -hmm. um, is the title that's used especially in the lower levels wow. and so most of the Freemasons who only usually do the first three levels there's mm -hmm. not many that go beyond the third level most of them think, just like you said, that it's God they're worshipping, you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. wow. But in fact, it's not God at all. It's mm -hmm. Lucifer, mm -hmm. the devil, Satan, mm -hmm. the opponent, mm -hmm. the adversary, the accuser. Oh. Oh. It's really serious. So you see how serious it is, how grave yes, it, it is. Yes, it is how... serious. But uh, mm. do you mean that, uh, that uh, they don't know it? Huh? It's Most really of dangerous. them don't 99% don't know it. They, Only they the don't top one percent know it, and they after know it. they are maybe after they know it that is Lucifer. After they don't all, leave. after all, they don't, they, they don't, they don't leave. leave. Do you know why? Yeah, because because as too they much were going, inside. exactly, and because each time you go from a lower level yes. to a higher level, there is an initiation. Um, ceremony okay can be that uh, it can also be that uh, you will receive also this uh, black mag 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 magician's uh, power exactly but this is the absolute this you. exists exactly i'm, I'm i believe exists. that this exists this this light black mag magicians exactly the black magic powers the powers of darkness of the yes. occult Yes. of um, sorcery and witchcraft. All of this exists. And so, uh, because um, the uh, I was going to say satanic rites, but they're the Masonic rites, um, the services, the practices, and the initiation rites, uh, rites not spelled I-G-H-T-S, but um, spelt like this, 
rights, as in right of passage, that is to say, to go from one level to another. Mm -hmm. The way it's done in their ceremony, in their ritual, mm -hmm. is that um, they must say uh, certain words, mm -hmm. which are different at each level, and in those words, they are saying or like invoking on themselves disaster, catastrophe, curses, and all sorts of bad things if they ever dare to speak publicly mm -hmm. about what is going on within the Freemasonry. So, uh, okay. for example, mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly what corresponds mm -hmm. to what level, mm -hmm. but examples are they will um, have their uh, heart uh, torn out of their chest and either eaten by birds or put in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Another one is they will lose their head. They will be decapitated. Mm -hmm. Another one is, um, oh, I can't remember, but it's all different yes, ways yes, of, yes. Of, of dying, of, yeah. of horrible ways of dying. And uh, because uh, they have invoked that on themselves, mm -hmm. you know that um, uh, uh, in spiritual law, spiritual mm -hmm. truths, what we say is what happens. You know the power of the word. You know that yeah. life and death is in the power of the tongue, mm -hmm. as it says in the Bible. Because everything comes from the tongue, what is in your heart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, as we say in French, uh, la vie et la mort est à la puissance de la langue. Mm -hmm. So it's all in the words, and that's that's what's powerful. It's the words as we speak. Words as we speak are much more powerful than anything that's physical that we can see. Don't mm -hmm. forget that all of creation um, was created by God just by his Just words, speaking, like yeah, at the word. beginning, yeah. he said, mm -hmm. let there be light, that's what he said, and there was light. Yes. Let there be this, let there be that. So he was just speaking, yeah. and all of this sprang into existence, the whole universe, just through words. That's how powerful words are. Now, what we think is what happens. What uh, we say is what comes to pass, and what we believe is what occurs. Mm -hmm. So, by invoking bad things on yourself with these words, and because um, throughout the different levels, mm -hmm. they've seen what's happened to the other Freemasons who have chosen to leave the group and to speak about Freemasonry mm -hmm. uh, outside the group to other people who are not Freemasons, they have seen all the horrific deaths that they have died, which are exactly the same deaths that they cursed themselves with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at each level of, uh, of um, going up the ladder of Freemasonry. Just, just and because so they have in their mind. Yes, and they have it in their mind. Mm -hmm. and, and they're so afraid, and they know that the devil is able to do that to yes. them, to kill them in a horrible way. Mm -hmm. Once they arrive so high up, they have said so many negative and bad th things on themselves mm -hmm. that they're like trembling because they feel that if they leave or say anything outside, they will immediately die a very horrible, painful uh, death, uh, a violent death. And so they, that's why they, they don't yes. want to oh, say anything. Okay. That's why oh, they're scared. Okay. Do, do you mean do you mean that uh, there are still people there uh, in this uh, kind of sect of oh, Freemasonry? It exists yes. all over the world. Yes, all over the world still. All over but the also world. Luxembourg still, yes. is the main uh, is the main. Uh, it's one of the, the main, main places where there is a lot of Freemasonry, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, we saw that when we did a prayer walk around mm -hmm. the city center where and there's you see the, where the a lot of signs there. Huh? Lots of signs, so many yeah. signs. I mean, we could hardly believe it. It, it. it was a shock to us. We didn't realize that there were so many of these Masonic signs. So we have it to really take, was a take, shock. We have to be very careful and to be very 
uh, we have to be very careful and to, and to say no at first, at the beginning. That's right, yes. It's the best thing to do, say no at the beginning and that's everything okay. If you start exactly. to say something, yeah, what is it, can you believe it, on something, uh, just, that's right. just, just, to, just to put some questions in it, it, mm -hmm. it is uh, the start for, uh, it, is, it is already the start for something that is not good. That's right, exactly. So, um, that is a very interesting, um, uh, what we've been saying about Freemasonry. And mm -hmm. so, uh, these people in Luxembourg uh, are more interested in angels uh, than they are in uh, God. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, in pretending that the names of their different towns and villages um, are actually uh, the names of the guards and angels protecting their towns and villages and cities. In fact, we know as Christians that it's not uh, God's holy angels, but because oh, they're worshipping only, these angels, oh, only, oh, oh, okay. it's only the fallen angels, demonic angels, oh. the demons, the evil spirits, you see. Okay. And so those are the types of angels that they are worshipping because, of course, um, worship, you cannot, I mean, God is against worshipping anyone except for himself. Mm -hmm. So if you were to worship a man or an angel other than God, if you're not worshipping God, then that goes against the first commandment. You shall have no other God apart of from course, me. Of course. But these angels are like gods for these people because they're closer to the angels than to God. So it's idolatry as well. Mm -hmm. And so the ones who receive this are not God's angels, but the ones who respond to this are, or of course, the devil's angels, the fallen angels. Yeah, the fallen ones, angels, yeah. The ones who were thrown Small out different. from mm -hmm. heaven when they rebelled against God. Yeah, you have, yeah, okay. So it's like having your city, your town, or your village named after a demon, an evil spirit. Can you see how much if they're you, into? Yes. Yes, the occult. If you yes. know it, if you know it. And you will uh, visit Luxembourg. There is a, there yes. is a, there is a point that uh, you cannot uh, go there to visit this the city. <laughs> it's better. Well, unless you're on a mission to evangelize them or do a prayer yeah. walk or do things like that. I mean, just but to I tell would you, choose another, yeah, I would choose now another city to visit it. Of course, just, if it's it, just for tourism. Yes, I understand. If you're not on a specific mission from God, so to yes, speak, yes, there is different. Yeah, it is different. But sometimes God can call you yeah, to absolutely. do uh, um, some work, like uh, spiritual prayer work, in a certain place. Mm -hmm. So, in a certain uh, country yeah. or town or city, and in that case, uh, of course, God will protect you. Oh, mm -hmm. And so, if you do go um, to that place, mm -hmm. then obviously you are doing God's will. Yeah. And so you'll Absolutely. be protected. So you'll have yeah. nothing um, mm -hmm. to worry about. You, yes. you see what I mean? Yes, um, absolutely. But for example, uh, we go mm -hmm. one to twice, uh, uh, twice in a year to a city to visit the city. Now yes. I know this kind all of this information and i if i had mm -hmm. to choose between for example paris oh, and course. luxembourg i would That's go right. to paris now why of should course. i go to a city that i know there is a background that it that absolutely doesn't like i don't like it of so, course but of course you I see choose now paris but you but what you said uh -huh. if god will choose you to go there you will feel it then you have to go of course. there that's right. That's different. You're going like as a missionary on yeah, a mission from God. Yes. That's different. But, um, you know, as Freemasonry, you can find it all over the world. Yes, absolutely. Ma in maybe fact, also here in Switzerland. Even in Paris. Oh, especially in Switzerland. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Well, the more there's money, the more there's this elite, absolutely. this power. Yes. 
mm. the more there is Freemasonry. Absolutely. It may be hidden, but just where there is money, there's Freemasonry because the Freemasons are the ones Absolutely. who have the money and who are powerful. So Absolutely. the more money there yes. is, the more Freemasons there are and the more power yes. they have. Lucifer is every so, he's mm -hmm. hidden. Yes, he, he is eaten, but he's here. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's that's it's very difficult to mm. to feel him because yes. he comes to you to, uh, with, uh, with different uh, with uh, different uh, thoughts in you, and it's very difficult to grab him mm. because you don't know it is here. That's right. Yeah, and you, as Absolutely. you say, there is uh, there is the grace. This is then there is a grace of God to 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 know him. It's yes, here. It's, it is absolutely. every time here, and in mm -hmm. Switzerland, as you said, yes, it can be that we don't. I don't know it, but mm -hmm. there is a lot of masonry here. Absolutely, yes, masonry, masonry, Freemasonry, masonry. Yes. Okay, I have to leave you now, as I have my yes. next student. Yeah, okay, uh, no problem. Ready for the lesson. Thank you, Walter, so, for this lesson. Was it interesting? Very, yes, Did you very, enjoy it, yes, Johnny? Of course. Very yes, very interesting. That's Thank you great. for this. I know, and I didn't know it. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. See, thanks, thanks ever so much to you too, you. Johnny, and speak to you bye next bye. time. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye. Take care.